OK. So um, now the next thing I'm going to go through is how to convert from rectangular, or I'm sorry, from polar to rectangular. Now, if you guys remember, this is an example of polar because what we're, we're given is we're given the radius, right? But what we want to do is be able to write in rectangle, which is in terms of x and y's. So what we need to remember is the only relationship we are aware of going between rectangular and polar, which is this stuff. That's why I kept it on the board. So do we have anything of what r equals? r equals x squared plus y. Well, r squared does, right? But I like that. So why don't we multiply by r on both sides? Actually, you know what? Never mind. That's not going to help us out. But then we still have a problem, though. I like having r squared, but we still don't know what to do with this r, right? So multiplying by r is not going to help us. Why don't we square both sides? <laughs> r squared equals 9. Now, what does r squared equal? 9. nine. No. What does r squared, repre what is r squared equal in, in, in those? Do we now have an equation in terms of x's and y's? Then we're done. And we know that this is also a circle with a radius of 3. three. See? See, 